guys, it's Shantae Dwight here today. And today I'm doing a tutorial on this bun. And I know it's a very simple tutorial and you're probably like, really? What, why, like why, why would you do a tutorial on that? I don't know if y'all gonna watch this, hopefully you guys do, but yeah. Very simple, I like to keep it simple. Mainly because I don't know how to do all that extraordinary stuff to my hair and because I'm lazy. Although, if you guys have any suggestions on what you think I should do for my next tutorial, please leave them down in the comments because I have like, you know how people say they have writer's block? I have like YouTube block. <laughs> I don't know what else to film. So if you guys can just like give me some suggestions, that would be greatly appreciated. You know, of things that you wanna see on my channel or like tutorials, or if you want me to do another talk through video, you guys like those and you actually watch me talk. So thank you for that. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. Yeah, so with all that said, we're gonna go ahead and get into tutorial. To, 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 to. <laughs> With all that said, we're gonna go ahead and get into the tutorial. All right, so I'm gonna stop talking now. Okay guys, so I'm starting off on really old and raggedy wash and go hair. And I thought that the best thing to do with this type of hair is to do a bone tutorial. So yeah, here we go. Um, you're gonna first start with parting your hair down the, um, on the side actually. You can do it down the middle, but I like to do it on the side. Um, and you just do a really deep side part, part, however you say it, like you see me doing here. And then you just um, disconnect that uh, front piece from the rest of your hair. Okay, so once you have that um, done you're going to go ahead and pin it out the way and you're going to do the exact same thing to the other side of your hair but this time you're just going to take out a very thin piece so don't take out too much because I've done too much before and it doesn't look right so just take out a little bit okay and you're just going to put a really high ponytail on the top of your hair so I sprayed a little bit of water on my hair before um, putting my hair up into the ponytail and then I just brushed up my hair. My camera died when I was trying to show you guys how I put in my ponytail so you won't see my ponytail all um, the way I put in the ponytail um, all finished up but basically what I did was I pinned my hair around on the sides and everywhere where I felt a pin needed to be pin there's no um, correct way to do the bun you can do any type of bun you want you can do a donut bun you can do um, a really really messy bun whatever you want to do it's your bun you know you don't have to do anything particular but um, I just put it really high on top of my head and kind of did like a um, messy type bun so I just added a little bit of light defining gel to the top of my head and now I'm just going to start to do a really basic flat twist and it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm definitely not perfect at flat twisting. So if you're not good at flat twisting, just do your best and the style will still come out cute and you will still be cute, girl. So just do your best. Once you have that done, you're just going to start to pin your twist down. And I pushed my twist down as I pin because I want it to look like it's kind of um, connected to the ponytail and not like I did the twist separate from the ponytail if that makes sense so I like to pin it down to create that type of illusion and now I'm going to just do the same thing on the other side um, simply just flat twist the really thin um, twist over here and I'm going to um, push it up into the ponytail and bobby pin it just like I did the other side Okay, so once I got all my bobby pins in, which I did use a lot, I'm going to go ahead and start to tug at my flat twist just to loosen it up a little bit. I don't like for it to be really tight because I just think it makes it look way too structured. And then I'm just going to mess with my bun a little bit, pull some curls out here and there, um, make some little cute flyaways. Now I'm going to take some curls um, passion fruit control paste and I'm just going to lay down my edges and baby hairs so that um, it can have a little 
cute little end touch to it. And then I just pulled out the ends of my hair and kind of coiled it. And this is the completed look. It's pretty much that simple. It only took like five minutes to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.